Poodle 2, I am Pink Poodle. Here is my Pink Poodle Maisie, and we are Pink Poodle 2. And today I am doing April's um, occult box. It has been here a few days, but as people already know, that my 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 poodle Billy Bum Bum passed away on the 2nd of May, so it's a little bit late for me to show. I've not been so anyway so i am unboxing them now so um yeah so this is my alternative box that is a um uh, what do they call it an alternative box yeah it, it can do anything between vampires ghosts haunted houses moons all different things so it's like an alternative themed and um it costs 20 seven pound a month or 29 i can never remember what it is but it's in the description down below and this month i actually won a little gift i won a, a lucky um they they did a competition and i got the runner up so yeah so this is really nice it says on there congratulates we love you eugene you rock you rock from misha and kyle so i will open this first to see what i've won so I hope everybody is safe and well and it says lucky dip bag and it's got some nice little washi tape on the back with tarot cards and crystals and this is my little thing that I want. So I got a crystal which looks a bit like um, some venturine. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think and then we've got a mirror with potions and a wand on there are too many mirrors i'm always having to find things to look you know because i look up close i look terrible i look my makeup doesn't look as good today i don't know why but it just doesn't look as good so it looks all right from there but if i come closer you'd like oh so and also we got a bat themed bracelet i believe a necklace which is really cute i do like my bets so thank you misha and carl i'm happy with my little gift my little winnings so that's really cool it's always nice to win something isn't it so many times you go without any luck and then you get a little bit of luck and it gives you quite a lot of joy when that happens. So that's my little winnings. Now onto the box. That's not supposed to be in there. I put that in a box today. So we have here, this, this box is called Cobwebs and Cauldrons. And they've got a small company called nazin alice designs here so feature small business and then it's telling me what's in here cheat sheet which is nice to you put cheat sheet in because you can actually see what you get so first thing in it is this which reminds me of my i don't know if any of my cats are in here they're probably gone now no i don't know where they are but I've got a little black cat, a little kitten. So it reminds me of Holly. And this is Lisa, Lisa um, Parker. I think they call this a Lisa Parker thing? Yeah, Lisa Parker. Print. And this is really pretty. And this is an oil burner, wax burner type thing. Which is really cute. I really like that because it's all like little Holly all around it. Not Jesse, but Holly. So it's very pretty, I like that. I like that a lot. So that's the first thing. Let me move Maisie out of the way so we can put all this there. Right. And then we have some witches curse. I've had these I've got these already and they've got a nice smell. And I've also got the um oil as well in this. And this releases into witches curse with this purifying aroma cleanse in the air of all negativity and bringing back serenity it is very fresh smelling incense cone i do like this smell and the 
then um what was it sorry do, 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 do. let's just see yeah, okay so next on here we have a witch's brew fragrance oil which is here and this is a delight to use in your oil burner top notes orange blood orange heart notes or strawberry base notes or softwoods so got our oil burner and we've got the oil to burn it in oh that smells really nice it smells very sweet like very light so there's that okay and we did get a little witchy on a broomstick then we got a curo um where's that gone this, this is oh i oh know that's not it where's that gone here you go got a little box and this is handmade with love and magic and this is a little curo box Oh, that's really cute. Look at that. It's like a little kosh there with, um, that is really cute. With like a broomstick, witch's hat, some moss, a crystal, amethyst crystal, and a broomstick. That is really cute. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really cute. I'm not going to say cute anymore because I haven't just the word to use the word cute today. Um, next we have um, a groups from the company that they're featured. It is a cobweb scrunchie. Really nice feeling one as well. Got a lot of, not like a cheap one, but a really nice one. Really nice material as well. So there's cobwebs on it. That's good because I have long hair, don't I? So that'll come in handy for me. I like that. And I like the coffin shape um, tag. Then we have... So the little um, Kiro Joe's handmade. Then we've got a witch's pot, which is this, which I've actually collected all of the little rose petals that were in the rose in the box and put it in there. So this is a little witch's brew trinket box or but whatever you want to do. You can put offerings on your altar in it and whatnot. So it's a little cauldron. Oops, and it's popped off. And then we have the broomstick pin. Oh, this is nice. Which is got to stack together. That's quite good. I like that. That's a pin. I like that. That's quite good. And last of all, we have a crystal jar. And we have amethyst in this. And... Um, oh, I've forgotten what they are. Oh, what are they? They're like amethyst and... Um, oh, it escapes me. Oh, what is the word? What is it? It's like an opal, but um, like um, a quartz type crystal. White quartz or something like that. So that's that so so that was our cold box so in the cold box this month we have the crystal jar with the amethyst and the thingy crystal there i can't remember what crystal that is it doesn't it's, it escapes me but so anyway <laughs> um we've got the broomstick a pin which is really cute i like that we've got a little cauldron we could put on that altar with offerings and things on or leave your rings in at night whatever you want to do earrings it's got the rose petals that were in the box we have the 
the scrunchie made by the school business, which is really nice. We have the oil burning oil, which smells really nice and delicate. It's really nice. We we'll use that a bit later, actually. Uh, we have the little witchy on a broom. We have the witch's curse incense stones. We have this beautiful holly <laughs> um, picture. My dear, it's a bit chubby than her. her face. Is, I think this is a male cat. This is not a female cat for sure. But I've got that sweet looking innocent face of hers. Um, oil burner. And then we've got this lovely little homemade curiosity kosh with witchy stuff in, which is really, I really like this. I really do, it's my favourite item, I would say. Yeah, definitely my favourite item. So, that is the cobwebs and cauldrons um, occult box this month. So, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Plus, I got my little lucky bag that I won, so this is all my box for this month for the cult box. So if you enjoyed this video please give me a pause up and if you're new to my channel hello welcome thank you for stopping by if you'd like to consider subscribing that would be fantastic and for everybody that's come back and subscribed thank you so much for coming back I really do appreciate it and all the people that just come to watch I ain't subscribed Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, that's keeping me up. I've got this really bad tiredness at the moment. I don't know if anybody can um, can sort of whether it's my B12 due, but I literally cannot stay awake. I fall asleep so quick. I'm watching telly and I'm like, like that. For this morning, I got up, done a few bits and pieces, watched a couple of Charmed, because I'm obsessed with that at the moment. And... Um, it's just getting out of reality. I don't want to think about reality at the moment. and just mess myself in that. And I had I stopped and had a bit of lunch. It looks for it. It's three o'clock. And like two hours are gone and I'd fallen asleep. So, well, that's that, isn't it? <laughs> it's typical. I'm good. I think my B12 is due, well, it is due next week, so hopefully that will stop the tiredness. Either that or I'm anemic, and I've got to wait to see my blood doctor to find out if I need to take anything for it, or if it's something else that's underlined. I don't know. So, anyway, thank you for watching this video once more, and always remember, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time, on Pink Poodle 2. Take care, guys. Oh, Maisie wants to say bye. Bye! And thank you, Misha and Kai, for the picking me to have the um, runners up. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.